Today I'm gonna do a reaction video to Val Tough Cuts and his replication of freeform locks with his crochet hook technique. Sent in by Noah Holden. Thank you for the contribution to the show today. And this is Val Tough Cuts. He says, flat wicks, anyone? Want to learn? Classes available? Implement a new style to learn and expand your business? What's trending? Invest in your future. Oh, he's, he's teach people how to do wicks. These locks here have gone from what looks to be free formed into some crazy crocheted flats. And it's nuts to see that this shape has been replicated because I've been one to always believe that to attain flat locks, you're you're gonna have to freeform them and it's gonna be super hard to actually pay someone to recreate it. Val's done it. I'm amazed at how much of a change in texture, considering these have been combined, you can't see any sign that they were individual locks at first. I mean, you can faintly, faintly see the lines between the dreads, but it's been definitely completely retextured with that crochet hook, and the dread itself is pretty torn apart and re and re, re knitted, re crocheted into another new lock now. Interesting. So the tips became very blunted. Well, to be honest, now on this lock, I can see more of the individual locks and the shape that they've done it. It's gonna be impossible to completely get rid of that scarring, let's call it. Opposed to a lock that's naturally wicked up like that, where there's no, there's not gonna be any signs of dreads being combined. But he has done a pretty good job in replicating the look. Definitely it will take a long time, a lot of patience to do this. Crazy. I find that they sit a little bit different than freeform locks. These look like they have a lighter texture, like a fluffier feel to them, a lighter buoyancy. Whereas if you were to grow locks like this naturally, I feel like they would be a bit more dense and definitely smoother in a sense where you wouldn't have any faint ridges or ripples of where you would feel the locks have been combined together. I feel like to those who want this look and are not patient enough to grow them themselves to do it, this is a great alternative to go to this go to the salon, pay your money and to get this done. But do know that you can achieve this look for free and it's crazy to think how long this dude's hair was before. So it looks like it actually shortened up quite a bit during this process. I'd say he's almost eight, nine years on these locks beforehand. And you can even see how they were starting to Congo up naturally at the back before he went ahead and did this video. Uh, before he went ahead and did this procedure. A lot of Congos happening. So these actually might have very well been twisted locks at first. And then he started free forming the past like six months to a year. And then he decided to just wick them up. That's crazy. He also could have just cut and let the new free forms come in that have Congoed. But I would love to know in the comments what you guys think of this hairdo. Um, definitely a unique look, a unique twist to Wix. It's good to know that if you're gonna go get Wix, you don't have to be getting the cylindrical thick lock all the time. If the loctician is talented enough, they can crochet your locks into a flatter shape. And this is actually a cool hairstyle because it's the it's the road less traveled. You don't really see people wanting to get flat locks. 99% of the dreadlock culture, people want cylindrical thin locks, or at least cylindrical locks. There's only that 1% that want those flat locks. Val Tough Cuts, impressing once again. It's a new wave for sure. That's crazy. A lot of painstaking work, back breaking work, finger breaking work, and dedication to the process. But what the question is, what is the business that freeforming can do? If I were to start a business somehow, what is it of for freeformers? Because these guys get paid a lot of money because a lot of people want to come and get their hair done uh, and manipulated. But I'm not about manipulating people's hair. So what service can I offer people as a business for dreadheads? I always think about dread, dreadhead detoxing as a business, just washing people's locks. Cause then I can wash anyone's locks, really. Freeform or not freeform, you know? And if you like this video, do us a solid and subscribe, all right? Yeah.